Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to start a new Mimi Zoo series. And because it is December, we are obviously going to do a little winter Mimi Zoo. Now, as much as I love Christmas myself, I think I do want to avoid making it too heavily festive themed. Like maybe here and there, a little bit of like festive decorations, or think of like maybe a little Christmas market, maybe an ice cake ring or maybe like this little restaurant with some festive theme in but I, I do want to avoid having like festive decorations everywhere around the zoo because at the end of the day we're going to focus on making a good looking mini zoo just like we did with our African mini zoo series which was like so much fun to build so yeah this is the start of like our mini winter zoo which is located in North America but not in Itega or tundra biome this is the temperate biome and the reason for that is that if it snows too much even though i don't know how this will go in this temperate biome theme but if it like snows too long and too much it honestly becomes like too bright for my eyes and i remember it being quite a struggle sometimes to build in it so yeah i want to avoid this mini winter zoo series to become like a big struggle for me regarding building but uh, wasn't this like ugh, the most beautiful thing? Like these uh, new maps right over here are really, really gorgeous. I absolutely love it. But we are going to change the time of like the, the opening times of our zoo. I think we can do that right away. Like <laughs> we are not going to build at nighttime either. So I feel like maybe just eight until five is like pretty doable and as you can tell just like we did with our african mini zoo series i already put down a few buildings and already like this uh, little uh, little drawing of some path and uh right over here i'm planning to make some little food and drink stalls and stuff and then right over here is going to be a very first habitat for those that don't know the raccoons are definitely one of my most favorite animals of the twilight pack and i know that some people really don't like raccoons and other people love raccoons and i really do love them <laughs> they're really cute and uh, my favorite zoo rotterdam zoo has them pretty much as like one of the first animals at their like newest entrance so uh, yes that is definitely what we're going to use for inspiration for our zoo now first of all we need to make sure that we have some staff walking around here so i'm just going to hire one caretaker not yet a keeper mechanic maybe one security guard a vet we do need a vet uh, i think that is it for now so i do want to make a little work roster already and we can just have this in the everything work roster as we always do and then we can select all our staff and put them in this everything work roster. So for now, we are going to work with these staff buildings right over here. We do need to make sure that we are going to earn some money, but to get some money, we need to make sure that we have an animal in. So yes, what we're going to do is we're going to start and make the base at least of our raccoon habitat and see if we can get in some guests so uh, they can uh, hopefully donate some money and we can earn some money so we can actually make a really nice looking habitat. Oh great, it starts to rain already. <laughs> well, it's not snow at least. Oh, and before I forget, we definitely need to check on the raccoon, the minimum amount of space and the maximum amount of space. So we can have two to five in there and they have the number of offspring two to four. So if we would go for two adults and maybe four, then we would go for 345 square meters. We need a little bit of climbing and we need a little bit of water. So uh, as this is a mini zoo, I do feel like, I, I do like the challenge of making the habitats as small as possible, basically, but still make the animals as happy as possible. So this is definitely uh, like what we're trying to achieve here with the uh, minimum space requirements. So yeah, let's 
let's go and start building.
So I got a habitat, but I am not entirely sure if this is going to work out because if I'm correct, this says more than three meters, like seriously, for a raccoon. So I really do not know if this fencing is going to hold the raccoon. So before I continue, I think it's better to check. Like I think the land requirements as of right now are perfectly fine. It will be very much reduced with all the rock work and stuff that we're going to add in the later stage. But yeah, just to make sure that the raccoons are not able to escape, I already have a work zone so I can hire a keeper and make sure that you are connected to the raccoon work zone. And we already have two beautiful raccoons, one silver and one golden status. And then um, we're going to add these in here and then really hope for the best. Oh wait, there's actually a little bit of water here or is that due to the rain? Oh, I'm actually happy that it stops raining for when I continue working on this house ad. Okay, pause. Habitat. Traversal area looks good. Ah, <gasps> so it does work. Oh, I'm so happy to see that. So, so we have like a chain link fence with non climbable frames. Like the real life zoo has like these cables right over here for like an electric fence. And, and I tried to do that. Maybe you saw that with the speed build, but I, I just, uh, it, I just didn't like it. I really do hope that Frontier is going to add like smaller, thinner cables in a later stage. Like I was building this and I was like, why don't we actually have that just yet? So I do really hope that that is going to be something that Frontier is going to add in a later stage. Space right over here. Yeah, it all looks really good. So I think we are sure that we can continue this habitat. I might just add some plastic pieces here just to make this all look a bit more neat and nice. I think that is definitely going to work out. But I am at least now certain that this habitat is going to be big enough and they're not able to escape from it. Uh, so now let's just... Uh, actually, yes, our money. We have 17,000. I think I will be able to... Uh, to work with that to finish off this habitat. At least that is what I hope, so fingers crossed.
Gosh, I need to keep paying attention because <laughs> I'm not used to not having any money anymore. Well, it's it's not like I am bankrupt already, but I do need to、uh, wait to finish this habitat because <laughs> else I will get in big big trouble. We already have guests. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanna go and put down some donation boxes just for now. Just temporarily because. Oh wait, you know what? I'm just going to put them next to the path so we will not get any bottlenecks due to them. Okay, so we have I think three right now is perfectly fine. Let's make sure that they get some education. Now I do not know exactly if I need to put down some food and drink shops already, but. I feel like that is also going to bring in some more revenue. So if I just make this big enough, this will pretty much cover this path. Oh wait, shall I not put this one into the ground? That might actually be smart because we are definitely going to move this in a later stage. Okay, let's make sure that we have、uh, everything that we can get, <laughs> we can afford now. Okay, we can unpause the game. Is this like I actually find this fencing a little bit too high? But I couldn't get it lower because of this non-climbing frame. So yeah, I, I guess we have to live with this. But I, I am still going to change this. Don't no worry about that. We're gonna put down water treatment because that is the only thing that we do not have. So I, I think. I actually want to put this in this work zone or in this this blueprint. If I now check the negative impacts on guests, is that like? Oh no, it's 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 pretty good. So that is all right. So we need to put that one in the everything work roster. I guess we also do not have the raccoon habitat in there just yet. So we now got that covered as well. I do wonder if we are going to earn enough with these raccoons because I don't know how popular they are. We can maybe look into already like the the ticket prize. Oh, you see, they are already complaining about drink shops and stuff. Free? No, 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 no. Zoo entry is free. <laughs> I do not want it to be free. Okay, let's make it two dollars or something like that because we definitely do need to earn some money here. I am going to put down because they are two thousand, if I'm correct. Yes. Okay. I can exactly put down two. So one food food shop, one drink shop. But okay, maybe I need to put you away a little bit to the backside because I have the feeling if I check,、uh, it might be enough space right now. What shall we do? We are going for something warm, something nice. I feel like we should just maybe go for some fries, and then go for some warm drinks. I think Street Fox Coffee is what we want. So we're just gonna have two of those because we do not have any more money. But hopefully, if I just play the game for just a little bit, what kind of bins are we going to use? I think the conservation bin is is definitely my new favorite. So I feel like, but but this is also temporarily, so we don't have to worry too much about that. But we can just put down a few picnic benches just to get this going to three, maybe. I think that's already enough. Like like. I don't think we we need more. Okay, it did hire two vendors, so that's a good thing. So we can right away add this into the everything work roster, and then we're gonna just put all the staff apart from you in the everything work roster as well. So this should now all be running pretty well. These guests are looking for a drink shop. It's 19 degrees right now, but it is summertime. So we have to wait and see if if there is going to be lower temperatures in a later stage. I'm not really sure, actually. Like this game does not really work with.、Uh, oh, are you going to play with the Christmas box? This is the only thing I'm going to put down from Christmas in this episode, guys. <laughs> Anything festive? 
maybe later on, but not for now. Oh, and I did paint the ball in like red and green colors, but I think we can live with that. Look at these cuties, by the way. <gasps> oh, that's so adorable. Wait, am I on? No, I am in the right speed. For a second, I thought like they were doing this a little bit too fast. <laughs> that was really cute. Oh, they're expecting offspring already. That is just perfect because that means that we are going to earn a little bit more money. Let's quickly check our guests are underpriced. I am so happy you say that. So we're gonna go for four maybe. And we're gonna check these guests. Zoo ticket price is good. I think that is what we're gonna go for for now then. And hopefully soon, as soon as you get some babies, then we, uh, we are able to raise those ticket prizes again. If we just quickly check, because I actually did not do anything with my game settings, but all right, this is this is all right. Uh, have this on one for now. Do we have a maximum amount of guests? I actually don't really think that we need that as of right now. So I think we can just uh, let the game run for a little bit. We only had three hundred dollars just a minute ago when I wanted to place down all this stuff right over here. So I. I I think we are earning a little bit of money, so I'm just going to uh, let the game run for a little bit, so I am able to, uh, <laughs> to earn a little bit more money to at least finish this habitat off and make this all look uh, look pretty nice, at least I hope that will be. Okay, I'm also going to change the lighting because if anything, I do not really like the darkness or like that second of darkness. So maybe I'm just going to change the times from 9 till 4 for now. I think that might work, but we have to wait and see about that for just a bit. But let's uh, let's see if we can earn a little bit more money so we can uh, actually finish this habitat. So we are definitely not there yet, but I do think that we are getting there. Oh, hello there. I like don't want to even look at this. It really breaks my heart to see such an empty and ugly area right over here. But this is only just the first episode, guys. So obviously we are going to make everything look great in a later stage. Like I will do my best to like to probably do the entrance already in the next episode or something because I really did like how like the whole zoo vibe was looking as soon as we got like that entrance area finished with our African mini zoo series so that is definitely something I want to try and finish as soon as possible my goodness you are so adorable like what are you you are a little female 
And do you have like a little baby brother or sister? We have two babies in here. We have two little girls. Oh, that's amazing! All right, let me just first. Oh, I love that you are using this. Like at some point, they were not. Oh, there's actually coming one from the roof. They were at some point not able to use this anymore, so I had to remove or remove some of the rocks and stuff. But yeah, for those that know Rotterdamse Blight Urban, if you you don't know, then、uh, I think I have like a little story on my Instagram account, Lady Creations, and also some pictures of the raccoons laying like on the roof and stuff. But yeah, this is inspired heavily of Rotterdamse Blight Urb, so this whole shelter building.、Uh, Is is pretty much looking like the one that you see there in that zoo, and it's actually quite interesting. Like the inside, I obviously don't know exactly. Like, I I should have like maybe raised these walls a little bit further. Like normally in real life, you cannot really see more behind here, so that could actually be a thing. But just to make sure that their traversable area will not be reduced too much. Oh, even though, what am I even saying? Like, let. <laughs> Let's have, oh gosh! Please don't tell me you are able to escape because <laughs> look at this, guys. I use the unpainted Asia uh, 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 platforms right over here, and、um, I don't know. There are like these escape points, but then again, they have not been escaping just yet. So I'm just a little bit worried. But we just have to wait and see if they are able actually. <laughs> <laughs> able to actually escape, but yes, okay. About the terrain, me thinking, oh yes, I'm going to use so many rocks, so the traversal area will be reduced a lot. Uh, no. These trash pandas can basically walk everywhere. The only thing is, like, the water is pretty much too、uh, too small, but that is also due to my rocks. So it's basically counting. Some of the areas here with the rocks as terrain instead of water because they are not able to swim there, but they are able to walk over there. <laughs> so、uh, yeah, I、uh, I actually already tried to make the habitat a little bit smaller. So I, I like move this wall more closer to here. Wait, did we not like change the time of the zoo? Do I really need to like? Make it half past three. Not entirely sure, but yeah. Okay, so I did move this wall already a little bit more to the middle, and I made this a little bit smaller, and I moved this one more forward. But still, they had so much space. So I was actually thinking maybe we should just add a few more in here. So what do we have? Almost 500 square meters. The only thing is that we need to, to be, <laughs> pay attention to the water, but the climbing need is just perfectly fine. So if we just go to okay, this is already the raccoon. We can have up to five, two males and three females. So what if we have four adults? And four babies in here. That would be still enough. Wait, was that maximum of four? Yes, it is. Okay, so if we have five adults in here and then four babies, this would actually be enough. Apart from the swimming area, so we might have to change that. But you know what? I'm actually thinking like these guys will grow up pretty fast, if I'm correct. So we could potentially just wait and then、uh, just keep the two little females. Although that will be too many female. No, that will be quite enough females. So that is actually a really good idea. I'm not going to be too worried about the heart shelter. I think this is perfectly fine for these cute little trash pandas. Look at you. <laughs> Who does love raccoons? They're so beautiful. Oh, I love them. Oh, this is so adorable. <laughs> oh, this is just great. Oh, I really do like this. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this habitat. But yeah, as you can tell, there is still a lot of work to do still. And、uh, this lady is looking at this educational sign, but we actually. Probably want to add like this educational sign somewhere over here. I I, I do think 
that would be nice and we need to spread it out a little bit more and then obviously we need to close i do want to change this a little bit because i feel like right now we are going to have bottlenecks either either it's it's going to be super busy here but when we're going to add like uh some more also gift shops and stuff this is going to be super busy so we need to actually have like a middle path going to like the rest of the zoo and then have like an extra path for the food and drink shops and the gift shops because else i think this is not really going to work out so i, I think we might want to move this a little bit to the back side here so we can make this a little bit bigger but i'm i'm probably just going to remove everything from here and then start to work from the habitat towards the entrance to also make sure that it's all not going to be too wide and too big because this is still going to be like this uh, mini zoo in the end. Oh, look at that. It's raining again. <laughs> we have so much luck with rain in all our franchise series. It's freaking insane. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. We actually have... You remember that I said, like, I was able to, to, like, lower this fence a little bit. But still I found it a little bit too high. And, like, kids, for example, they actually were <laughs> just looking at the wall right over here. So I was thinking to just add, like, this little edge so the kids would potentially be able to step onto this and then hold on to the railing and then look into the habitat. Like, for the adults, this is a perfectly fine height. But yeah, the kids were not able to see anything. So this little edge is really just to make sure that the kids are able to look into this habitat. But yeah, just like we did with the African Mini Zoo series, we will be uploading all the habitats and, and all like small kind of details to the Steam Workshop. So make sure to uh, check out the collection list in the description of this video. Let me know what you all think of this new start of our our winter mini zoo series leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys